Hi, and welcome to another 5-Minute UAD Tip. Today, we're going to take a look at the most unique spring reverb of all time, the AKG BX20. Introduced in the 1960s, the BX20 is the ultimate expression of art and science that combines mechanical and electronic components to create a spring reverb that is still highly prized today. The BX20 has an incredibly dense and dark character that brings a mood and tone to music like no other reverb. Let's dive in and take a listen. When you want to soak your guitars in dark, dreamy reverb with tons of 60s overtones, one way is to insert a mono to stereo BX20 directly on the track rather than using the typical send return setup. Let's start by loading the Just Big preset by Jakir King, the producer engineer behind Nora Jones and Tom Waits. We'll turn off the wet solo button and use the dry wet control to blend the dry signal with the reverb. It defaults to 15%, which is a great place to start, and we'll blend the reverb to taste from there. The preset uses the mono input along with the AB tank selection. This feeds the mono input to the two independent reverbs on the BX20. The A tank is the left channel and is naturally tuned to lower frequencies. The B tank is the right channel and enhances higher frequencies. When combined, the two create a deep and wide stereo image. Now let's take a look at some of the software features built into the BX20 plugin, not found on the hardware. For a darker color, let's switch to Tank A, which stereoizes this mono tank across both output channels. When we unlink the channels, we have full control over each side, and we can adjust the decay time, volume, and pan independently. This lets us put the reverb exactly where we want it. And now let's check out the stereoized tank B for a brighter sound. The uniquely controlled attack on the BX20 removes flutters that are common to spring reverbs, so drums sound great soaked in lush reverb. We'll set this example up with a traditional send and return configuration. With the BX20 on an aux, we'll start with the dub splatter preset by Patrick Carney from the Black Keys and dial up the sends to start feeding it. Now we'll turn the direct signal off. This removes the tank's direct component that can make percussive sounds overshadow the reverb. For a splashy, wide effect, we'll switch to the B tank, pan the channels hard, and set the two decays to different lengths. There's nothing quite like the BX20 to create a haunting, desolate soundscape on vocals. Here, we'll insert it directly in the audio track and switch the wet solo function off so we can blend. Oh, oh, my love, where did we go wrong? Then we'll increase the pre-delay and decay times to completely immerse the vocal in a dark and moody reverb. From here, we'll audition the other tanks and adjust the decay times. My love, my love, my love, we had it all. Oh, 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 oh. we're living in the ashes of what once was. As you can hear, there are no bad settings, and you can use a ton of this reverb effect to blend elements together or make them stand out in their own space. Now you can harness the sound and feel of the legendary AKG BX20 Spring Reverb, only for the UAD2 and Apollo platform, and only from Universal Audio.